when you know who you are and you know you're black and you love black people and you love your black self and you have a black issue that you can identify through your black lens, your black worldview, then you 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 can get together with black people who know these things and put together the money and the plan that and, and know that it's going to take years. We'd be trying to solve the problem in one summer. So that pulling money together as an attack. So touch on that for us, Hannibal. So, you know, so we were talking about that within the conversation of poor medical care. Now, I would put forth and there are studies that would 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 uh, echo this, that there is a lot of racialized um, medical care in the system. The reason why it's persisted is because it hasn't been attacked aggressively. Now, why? Well, the people who are on the receiving end of this malpractice and miscare are us, uh, the people with the least resources, at least the least aggregated resources. Okay. And the, the here's the thing what a lot of people don't understand. There's no profit component to the solution of this problem. All right. And because there's no profit component, it makes it that much harder to tackle. Now, when you tackle these issues, it, it, it pretend we had all the resources. This is what it would look like. It would be a multifaceted attack, multifaceted solution. There'd be a legal arm, an educational arm, and a major marketing arm. This is how things get done in this country. You, you call attention to the problem with your marketing campaigns. And I'm talking aggressive, radio, TV, social media, everywhere, YouTube, partnerships with uh, popular media outlets, and you aggressively call attention to the issue. This is what the LGBTQ uh, co uh, community has been doing for the last 10, 15 years. Okay, they have a major marketing arm, uh, multi uh, multiple organizations that are doing the marketing for these things. They have a legal team. They have legal teams. They have legal entities that are putting lawsuits here and lawsuits there. And so if we were doing this against the uh, for the issue of medical apartheid, we'd be suing all kinds of uh, uh, hospitals left and right. And we would also uh, be engaged in uh, targeted studying, gathering data. So we can use the data to highlight the instances of medical malpractice, medical apartheid, because the doctors are saying we didn't do anything. The doctors are saying it just happens. And we're saying no, just like with Serena Williams, she didn't get the right care when she was having her baby and she almost lost her life and a baby's life. And it was because she was getting the nigga treatment. So you have the you got the legal uh, part of the attack. The, uh, the marketing part of the attack and the educational part of the, of the attack. And because all these things cost money and are not generating money inherently, then you have a financial arm of the attack. This is what I say when you have a collective uh, mind frame, when you know who you are and you know you're black and you love black people and you love your black self and you have a black issue that you can identify through your black lens, your black worldview, then you... You, you can get together with black people who know these things and put together the money and the plan that, and, and know that it's going to take years. We'd be trying to solve the problem right. in one summer. Right. Like, oh, George Floyd summer. After this, after these protests, we're going to have racial justice. No. Uh, no, it's, it takes years. So that's what I meant in the response to Joanna or whoever asked that question. That's what I mean by having a collective mind frame that motivates us to uh, pool our resources and do the collective work that it takes to address this complicated issue. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I also don't think we need to save the world. I think I think we find our corner of the world and chip away at it. You know, I, I think I think sometimes we I think sometimes people get caught up in oh, well, well, what about everybody? Well, what about everybody? What about everybody else? And I, I, I really do believe that, like, if you if we build institutions, then you will be able to create community. And I think that's 
I think that's the best we can hope for. That's the best we can ask for. And I think as people do that, where they find themselves, wherever we find ourselves, if we build community and build institutions, then I don't think we have to worry about saving the world because we're, 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 we're equipping our own people with the ability to save themselves, save ourselves. You see what I mean? Oh, yeah, for sure. For sure. Yeah. The heart don't do the lungs work. The heart yeah. does the heart's work.